Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn what is the alternative of get server side props method in next year's 14. This get server side props function we used for server side rendering or for dynamic rendering in next year's 14. In previous video also, I have explained how to do dynamic rendering in next year's, but now in terms of get server side props function, I want to explain you that what is this function and how this function is not using nowadays and what is the alternative of this that we are going to understand. The role of get server side props function is to achieve server side rendering in next year's. 12 and before version but now from version 13 that was the beta version testing for this get server side props is not available in app routing means inside a app folder you cannot create this function but you can create under page folder if still you are using page folder then you can use it otherwise you would not be able to use what is the alternative of this get server side props function i have explained in previous video also you have to use fetch function with some extra parameters so that i am going to explain you here so this is the program that we are using here i click on course I have explained this in server side rendering also. So I click here and this course is displaying. Remember that right now I'm using here static rendering or client side rendering. So I'm disabling this to disable this function, generate static param. So I just disable this, generate a static param, no need of this. Uh, then I need to remove this also, no need of this. Remember that. Now if I want to convert this into dynamic rendering or server side rendering so what i can do i can use here two things i can do i can write my code here also directly otherwise we uh, can use other thing also that is what so for that i cut this code from here and i have to create a async function so here i say uh, const and i create here fetch fetch code function like this async and remember that this function we have to use because this is the alternative for this async await function here i'm passing a parameter so that is the string id so i say code id and that is of a string type that i am passing here code id so i cut this from here like this and i paste it here remember that i paste it here and uh, this code id is here remember and i am doing this after that i say return quotes like this so these quotes will come and here i will call this function and this function i say const quotes equal to fetch quotes and here i am passing quote id like this so we are fetching this by passing quote id we have a quote here we have id here we have a quotes here that is type script problem it is not so big one so we are fetching this information uh, then in in place of this we have to use cache and here i need to use no store remember that and i have to remove this because we are i am using server side rendering so this information i need to use here this is the value that we have to use remember so no store i am calling here so that means it is server side rendering and this is the function async await on the basis of this function i am using this function and i say here await also like this i say await here and on the basis of this we are getting a value here and this error is also gone we have the value here and i can say here code type also if it is work yeah it is working so code type is there so code type is this so this we are returning and returning in a code type and this is the quotation here now you see this is convert into server side rendering so in place of get server side props this function we can use this function async await function that we can use here with this no store parameter and we are calling this and if i call this and you will see that we have to call the first of all this page now i click here and you see that when i click here i'm getting a code you see you see same value i'm getting but this time this is dynamic rendering it's not a static rendering it's not a client side rendering it's a server side rendering it's called dynamic rendering we are achieving right now and if you build your application you can check this is now dynamic rendering or server side rendering and this is the alternative of this function get server side props remember that so you can do like this everything is running here and this is the alternative in next year's 14 and above for server side rendering this is the replacement of get server side props function if you understand please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video